All right, gamers. We're going again. This is fine. I may actually make the treasure this time. I rarely ever make the treasure. Nah, who am I kidding? I'm gonna put a wicked roll on this. Turn 2-3-3 three, three with haste is just too good. Uh, let's go like this. Get back. No, man value three. Return to hand is interesting. is oh so he's playing esper with reckless reef <clears throat> and he's showing us the top of his deck hold for ransom this seems like a strange version of Esper. Got an ancient one, and it's got Fiend, and hmm. Is the glitch still? Yep, glitch is still happening. Weird. Weird situation. I don't think Furnace Punisher, they've got enough basics that Furnace Punisher's probably not where it's at. Kind of, maybe Lithomantic Barrage is good, but I mean, if it's literally just splashing or Fiend, it's probably not worth that's probably better than play with fire is what I'll say. I'll put two in and I'll put the two Nahiri's Warcraft in because they're going to be putting in Shelly's, I believe. Yeah, play with fire doesn't really do anything against this deck. I think we're solid. <clears throat> they were pretty fast on boarding. I'm not keeping a one-lander, not keeping this one-lander either. I'll go down, I'll go down this far. Don't fucking act like I won't, you know? Probably should have kept Inti and the uh, three drop, but. Look, we've got 23 lands. If this is the way that this has to function, whatever.
Hellbent. Why would you not block NT? What? I needed to take the risk there. The 2-2 two -two is not good enough. Does this do it? It does do it. <laughs> the one of Furnace Reigns. This is why it's in the deck. This is why it's in the deck. I had fun that match. <laughs> he will not be saying the same thing. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> what a silly, what a silly way to game. Biswash bear. Stop giving me one land hands. I'm not going to take them. I've learned from my mistakes. I'm a wise man now. It's the play with fire, I think. Mishra's Foundry turn one. That's an insane play. Mono black? I think we don't attack into this, though. Like, that's a good enough stop sign for us to not attack in. Kill this underdog anyway. Graveyard Trespasser is actually pretty solid against our deck. <laughs> Godric off the top, or Squee, or Charming Scoundrel works. I'm going to do Wicked Roll because I want to keep this Lightning Strike. And I just kind of want to pressure with a little bit of damage. He's close to this virtue. But he needs to keep drawing lands. Mm. I think we let that slide. No attacks. Interesting attack. I would not have attacked there. 
me personally. Eoldred. Maybe what we should have done is discard this, look for the, uh, look for lethal. But if we didn't have it that turn, we will still have it this turn. What's going on here? So I've got a couple outs. One would be to cast Squee. And then look for the lightning strike. Yeah, let's do it that way. He has a cut down, we lose. What do you have? What's in your hand? All right. I totally forgot about the counter, by the way. Uh, to, to those of you uh, yelling at the fucking screen. <laughs> um, Warcrafting's good. That's it. I think that's all I want. I don't want to play with fire. Play with fire doesn't kill any of their stuff. <clears throat> oh, that's not true. It kills their 3-2. Um, I don't know. Maybe they, they probably have a bat. They probably have bats. Eh, maybe that was bad. Swap. Maybe I should have gotten rid of Inti? I mean, Inti was so awkward there. Inti's so awkward in this deck. I, I don't think I should be running Inti at all. Or at the most, one copy. This is a fine hand. Now it's a less fine hand, now that we've drawn our fifth land. What do we want here? Another Kamano? That would be our best draw, I think. Never mind, maybe Lightning Strike's our best draw.
so blocks. <coughs> oh, if he was going to do that anyway, that makes sense. A little late. A little late to the party, Mr. Uh, Kamano faces Kakazan. too many lands. He's pressing damage, dude. Look at this. Yeah. There you go. Doesn't have the shoulder yet. He's trying to decide what to kill. Ah, that's fine. We've still got a bunch of tutus coming at you next turn. Other land. Path of Peril is d does not do it not quite do it. And he's got a chump. Going on over here. Takanuma. Doesn't do it. Oh, and he's got the Flesh Gorger? Ugh, oh, that was a fun game. I, I think Mono Black is solid. I hate Tenacious Underdog, though. Card just sucks. And I mean, we saw why. It's just so fragile to everything. up gamer oh hello hello i'm currently recording just a just a heads up okay no worries i can mute up if you want oh no no no! don't worry about it um i uh, just wanted to let you know last time i had obs streaming and also was streaming uh the game my computer like fucking almost crashed <laughs> So let's see how <laughs> let's see how well it can handle this. <laughs> it used to be good at it. We're playing against Manser. More like fucking um man, sir. Do you have OBS 
GPU encoding or CPU encoding? Do you know? Uh, I don't know. Uh, the general advice for OBS, specifically OBS, is to um, whatever the game is intensive on. So Magic, I don't know if it's GPU or CPU intensive, is to render on OBS on the opposite and you crash less often. Okay. That makes sense. I mean, I don't really have a problem with... Uh, I mean, I have a problem when it does crash, right. but it doesn't crash very often is the thing mm -hmm. that I'll say. Oh, am I playing against the Fabled Domain? Look at this. Look at these. Oh. Hey, Topiary Stomper. Um... I guess we're going to try and just press damage. I mean, you're red, right? Yeah, the, the thing is, I know their next move is normally just to um, go straight to, like, um, there, there's a four mana ramp card that turns on their topiary stomper. They do not have it. So we get to just fall out here. Fall so hard. Dude, did you listen to the Ben Shapiro bird? Yeah, it's so funny. <laughs> it's, it's hot ass. <laughs> It's I mean, really it's bad. <laughs> it's for sure funny. It's just like, I don't know what he has to gain by doing it. No, I mean, I think he's just probably friends with Tom McDonald. Yeah. And Tom McDonald's I, like, oh my god, this would be epic. Wouldn't this be epic? Yeah. I mean, he's just going to get clowned on. Yeah. I, I, I don't think he cares about care. it. Yeah. Yeah. For him, any press is good press, right? Yeah. He's kind. Of, he's kind of a funny guy in that respect, you know. Yeah. It's like he definitely like makes statements specifically to draw people out, like his like his WAP comments and stuff. Like he knows. You that know, one. Like, that one. I think he wasn't. He he wasn't even aware of like what that would turn into. You know. Really? You don't think so? You don't. Oh yeah, because because like, he had a segment on on his show, like the entire time for that to be like, oh, I'm gonna call out, like culture that's trying to corrupt our youth i and he you know I, I just don't know i just don't think so i think he's I think like not to, like, socially aware enough as a as a journalist you have to be like is this really the fight i'm gonna pick uh like it's such a low-hanging fruit uh you don't need to be doing an hour-long segment and, like, to do anything more than that, like, I just have to believe there's a level of self-awareness where he has to be like, yeah, this is, like, this is half bit, half truth. Yes. I, I, I'd be surprised if that isn't the way that he sees it in terms of, like, literally saying the lyrics of things, right? Right, right, right. right. But that being said, it's I don't think like, he's... I, I, I don't think that was entirely just to be inflammatory, you know? Yeah. I just don't... I guess I... I to this day, I don't understand. Who's defending WAP as being, like, lyrically or culturally... Artistic, yeah. Yeah, outside of, like, a TikTok dance. I can't answer that. Yeah. Like, people lost their jobs over that song. People, uh, there were like uh, women were like getting discharged from the military or put on leave for dancing that song in uniform. <laughs> That's on. <laughs> I mean, come on. Yeah. The the, yeah, yeah, yeah. the dances that were like the popular dances for that oh, song. Oh yes. Oh yeah. I I have absolutely zero sympathy. <laughs> right. And because I mean, it just breaks decorum rules. Yes. It's like drinking in uniform. What the fuck? What is this in your deck for? <laughs> well, what is what a silly 
What a silly decision. <laughs> Where, what's Godric from? What is he? Just he's a magic from character? uh, yeah, he's just a magic character. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's um, I think. Just in Eldraine. He, he, they didn't, like, bring him up until the more recent Eldraine. Like, there's no Godric in the first Throne of Eldraine. Okay. I, I'm probably just thinking of the Godric from Harry Potter. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Shout out, by the way. Shout the hell out. Best performing game in 2023. Isn't that interesting? Best performing? Yeah, like most, in, in terms most of like money. sales. Oh, I see. Sales and highest concurrent players. I believe that for games that launched in twenty twenty three. Still kind of crazy, you know. Yeah, like it had a higher peak viewership than Baldur's Gate. I just find that insane. Oh it's yeah. Like, It's definitely just Harry Potter casts the water net. Yeah. That definitely helps. I, I guess, you know what it probably did? It probably got people who weren't gamers to start gaming, you know? Oh, yeah. I mean, Annie wanted to play. Uh, it also released cross-platform, which I don't know if Baldur's Gate did. I don't think it did. Yeah, I mean, Baldur's Gate was a phenomenon, just, like, I think partially because it was just D&D. &D. Yeah. Yeah. I, it took me a while to realize it was mainstream popular, because, like, the people I follow were going to play it regardless. Uh, and you and I specifically had been looking forward to that game for months. Like, you know, from the time it was, like, announced, like, playing Divinity. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, we, we were talking about it for fucking forever. But, I mean, yeah. I, I, I don't know what the ramp up in terms of marketing had to actually happen to get it to where it was, you know? Because it feels... Yeah. I don't know. I mean, D&D's had a big year. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it's just become... Now it is 100% mainstream. Yeah. And so it's, I mean, it's crazy that Hasbro is still laying off people. It's because they're stupid. They don't know how to hire people. Oh, like, they're, they're firing people from the most successful parts of their company. <laughs> I know. And, like, people have been working there for years. This guy's an old head. He should take the lightning strike. If I were him, I'd take the lightning strike, is, is what I actually mean when I say that. The, um... What was I gonna say? Oh, uh, one thing that really hit for me was like, oh, there's this guy who's been doing coverage, like, forever for this, uh... Uh, for magic that they recently fired and is now like, my, oh, I guess I got my guy, to to my guy Paul Cheon. Paul Cheon, yeah, yeah. Shout out, D Dan. When also, did you get here? Literally, 
eight I'm, seconds ago. I'm recording, by the way, so uh, you are you oh. may be live if I decide to keep the Discord in. <laughs> Shout out Paul Chion. We've been talking about absolute nonsense. So yeah, look, we're just okay, so what? Can I go over my night? Oh, yeah, it wasn't that in, it wasn't that interesting, but it was a little interesting. So we we just went through a TUV audit, which is the European version of the FDA. Okay. And I don't know. It's the, a company. The, the, the uh, 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 <laughs> uh, Europe privatized the FDA. Kinda. The, the... <laughs> Does that surprise you in the slightest, Ben? That like all of Europe's privatized? Um, actually, the guys are Korean, so they weren't even European. It's a bit. It's a real globalist agenda type shit. Anyway, so we true. did okay, and so the boss was like, "Time for drinks," and I'm like, oh, "Obviously, yeah. free Save drinks." Less. And so we went to get beers, and then right next to the beers was a distillery. I suppose that it still is a distillery. So, it, um, and so. Some people peeled off, and then me and my boy Mario, who Lucas met. Andretti. I have met Mario. Incorrect. He thinks he looks like a guy from Parks and Rec, but I disagree. Which one? Chris Pratt? No. Wait. Lucas <laughs> he doesn't look like Chris Pratt. He looks like the other one. The main character? Ron no, Swanson. Ron. Nope, not him. Uh, Leslie Nope. Uh, no, nope, she's a woman. <laughs> oh, uh, Chris. What? Who's... The Who's sexy he one. By? He's yeah, pretty yeah, yeah. sexy. He's played by the guy from Outsiders. Uh, starts in the Fire uh, TV show. Aziz Ansari? <laughs> I'm, offended. <laughs> I'm offended for Mario on that one. Oh, God. Well, I was I was about to say like I would never say that about him, but apparently you are. Wow, human. you really think that way? What the fuck anyway. are you saying human for? Don't say human at me, you fucker. <laughs> at you. <laughs> and so, Rob Lowe. no, the other one. What? Rob Lowe's not the sexy one. No, the fuck's no, wrong no. with you, dude? Fuck you! Don't play extract the truth. Oh, choose a creature enchantment or planeswalker. <laughs> oh, fine. Uh, how about you kill yourself, dude? How about you fucking kill yourself, Adam? Adam Scott. You think Adam Scott's the hot one on Parks and Rec? <laughs> He's cute. He's cute. Look Tell at the gif I just posted. Oh, I, Rob oh, Lowe. I know Adam Scott. Classic. Rob Lowe is definitely like up there in terms of he's like, hot ones. Yeah, but he's like like Hollywood Rob Lowe hot. Is famously hot. Yeah, but he's Rob like Holly. Lowe. He's like Hollywood hot though. Adam Scott is like normal guy hot, and that's kind of how Mario is in mm -hmm. Lucas's eyes, not in my eyes. In Lucas's eyes. No, no, in your yes. eyes. <laughs> <laughs> and so we went. Uh, we went to the distillery next door and they had gins and rums and they had a, a tasting room where the tasting was entirely free, which is hilarious. Wait, and so I had some... 40 shots? Yeah, and then they're like, you could buy some you can buy some liquor while you're here. And I'm like, obviously I'm going to do that. This is like your, your guerrilla marketing scheme. Um, and so I bought peppercorn gin, which is really good. Mm. And a, uh, a plum aged gin where they make gin and then they age it in with plums in in the barrel they plum for a couple for a couple weeks and then they put it in a regular barrel for a few weeks so it's like an it's like a barrel aged gin with a plum infusion which was delicious i thought so now i I'm, thought plum age was that that stuff that was on a fucking fucking bird plumage <laughs> you're so dumb <laughs> This is being this is being recorded, and yeah, Lucas yeah. just put that put that out on the on the internet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, so I'm having Let's a martini see. with some of that. If I get to seven wins, yeah, this now. is going out on the internet, but we'll see. Is this a is this a challenge? Yeah, this is the this is the um, standard metagame challenge. Oh, I I've actually it's funny that you mentioned that like. I've also been like mulling a standard, a little standard romp because it sounds like a cool format. It does sound cool, and it sounds like also everyone is getting in on it right now, so it's a yeah. good time to play. That's um, fair. So things will be like moving fast. Uh, right. The main reason I wanted to play is the metagame challenge because I wanted to make some packs. And that's fair. But um, like also. I listened to like five podcasts this week that were just talking about standard decks, and it's got me hype. Absolute plants. 
if you ask me. Government plants pushing the standard agenda. Yeah. Big wizards. Um, <laughs> huge wizards. Um, squeed dubious monarch unironic in the mono red. Really, you're gonna cut down the squee? It can come back. See, he doesn't know. I, they I forgot. thought he might have. He had two mana, so he might still have it, but. This card. Gee, can't be okay. Good. In standard, probably not. No. Oh, pre shit. preacher. Preacher, I've heard is good. Yeah, preacher's good. Fine. I'll tell you what card really sucks. Fucking charming scoundrel. That card's not good. I don't know why. Yeah, you're playing like a lot of bad mid-range red cards. Yeah, the, the, the deck's fine. The the two the two drop slot is bad. The one drops are yeah. good and the uh um, yeah. and the uh three drops are good. Kinda of figure come you gotta... on. Is Kamanu is Kamanu still legal? It is, right? It is, yeah. Absolute amateur. He clearly had the play with fire, your honor. He had it every day of the week. He's got a block, though. And now we still get to bring back... Fuck, dude. Gix. Gix is so Gix. good. I would argue Gix isn't even constructed playable, but it is good in cube. It is very good in cube. Yeah. <laughs> I like that the Deep Cavern Bat has been, like, absolutely... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Goaded? It's just it's just a menace in standard right now. Yeah, it's like it's like completely taking over standard. Everybody's like, Deep Cavern Bat's too powerful. It's like it's like a it's like a common. Is it common or uncommon? It's an uncommon, I think. Yeah. Wow, so uncommon's too powerful. Not like now. it was good in limited. It was like fine in limited, wasn't it? No, black sucked. Black was so bad. I played like four LCI drafts and every one of them was black and every one of them was positive. So really? I'm gonna be like black black is goaded. Okay, I you don't can say I, that. For, I forget. I drafted a lot of uh, of um what 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 was the me mechanic called? Descend. Descend, yeah. I drafted like two blue black descend decks and one sulfide you know, descend deck. You know who was deck, really high was on fine. descend? Um LSV. Sam black. Oh really? LSV well too? LSV and Sam Black are like in like roommates or something. Well, they, well, they they definitely talk. They they definitely have very similar opinions and very similar play styles. Well, Sam Black and what's his name? Oh no, I'm thinking. Uh, no, Sam Black and what's his name? Well, who is LSV? You're thinking of Sam Party. You're right. I am thinking of Sam Party. You're 100 percent right about that. Yeah. Uh, Sam Black is like a is still a phenomenal like limited player. It's just kind of like um. He tends to I mean, play how... very very slow decks. Like during Eldrain. He played blue decks the entire way through, and during I really, I really liked blue and Eldrain though. It was good. Like I know that's, you I know that's not like, like the hottest take in the world. To, how to do the slower style of decks? Two of the trophies I that just, I had in Eldrain were blue decks. I just thought Woe was like way underdrafted and like kind of good, and no one else thought that way. Are you talking about Eldrain or Woe? You're talking about Woe, right? Woe, Woe, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I thought, I thought, I thought it was. Blue is good in the world. People just disrespected him. Yeah, uh, and and I think a lot of people thought that about black in LCI. Yeah, you're right. Black and blue, black and LCI, and blue and woe were very similar. Where I like, I was cool with black and LCI. I was like, this chupacabra is was it murderous chupacabra? I'm like, I'm taking every one of these. Is that like the and two they, that murdered something like something? That was ravenous chupacabra, but this is very similar. Yes, it, it's a In throwback that, like, to Chupa, to the Chupa, yeah. to the other Chupacabra, and I'm like, this card is kind of What's great. What's the original one po posted in? Because that was when I was playing. It was like M19, maybe. That was Ixalan. It, it, it's oh, literally it's... a throwback to the older oh, Ixalan. In the game. One. That's funny. Yeah, I I didn't know that. What's the vibe? I have a vibe. Hold on. Oh, for music. Yeah, but I'm. I hold on. I have a I vibe. Say, that... My vibe right now is is a, a tall glass of dark and stormy. I am currently still... listening to music I right now. I myself so. like a triple. You better take that. You better turn that music off. I will. I will. 
Our, our listeners oh. have also been listening to that music if they are listening to Discord audio, too. I hate you know what's You know what's super our, funny? Our listeners. It feels very <laughs> same. Tanner. Like, this feels like something Tanner would do. Is, uh, so Annie's students got, they all, like, did whatever on their standardized testing or, like, all shut up for some, it or something. So they got to pick a, a field trip that they would do in, like, next month. Mm-hmm. And guess what they voted for? What is it? Like, collectively. It's their fifth graders. Fortnite. Riz. <laughs> they went to Ohio. <laughs> they wanted to go to Ohio, dude. <laughs> I, I know, like, I do feel like it had to be as, like, some sort of virtual. It's not. It's a, okay. a, a go to a thing thing. Okay. Fenway was would be a good thing to do. I like Fenway. I mean, that I've never been, but it seems guess. cool. A bad guess for February. The zoo. Uh, also no. Fuck. Also a strange thing to do in February. I agree. Yeah, that's Is what I'm gonna saying. Work? That's uh, you. It you were saying work. it's a bad decision. No, I think it's an interesting decision. I would never have guessed fifth graders to pick this. Oh, the museum? No, it's not a museum. I'm gonna let you keep guessing. I'm gonna let you get close, and then I'll tell you. <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> was that was that a good guess? No. Oh. I mean, it's a good guess because it's logical. This is illogical. Ben and Jerry's. Ooh, yeah, that's right. Fucking closer. kill yourself. That's the Fucking that is the forever alone, bitch, motherfucker! I'll kill you. Not in genre or in theme, just in how obscure the choice is. Well, but like, you're in New Hampshire. Ben and Jerry's is in Vermont. That's true. Like, I imagine it's not friend. that far. I guess there was a storefront Ben and Jerry's in Hoboken too. But there are a lot. There was. Here. That is true. That. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, Mike? Hey. What are you To stick together Whoa, all day of the on? week, Mike. I know it's crazy. Another first, Jew? First. <laughs> Wait, Mike, are you Jewish? I thought you were Asian. <laughs> you uh, can't be both. We're getting all this dust. <laughs> it's Ben and Ben. I can't tell if this is a bit or not. He's mushed together. Is this the acoustic version? I want to kill myself. Uh, is boat playing? I think it is. Yeah, I'm trying to. I think it is the acoustic version. Anyway, is this, is this the red deck you were making earlier? Stop playing fucking rugged highlands. Yes, this is the red deck from earlier. Is this uh, dinos? How are you four wins into oh, this? Oh, never mind. I'm vibing. Here's yeah, the question: They decided to go to the roller rink. The roller rink. Oh, oh, that that That's makes weird. sense to what you had it's said kind of, earlier. Given, today. yeah, yeah give. Graders? No, but no, no. Given your, given your clues, your that comment makes sense. earlier. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't believe like you even have a roller rink. Like that's really odd. Yeah, there are a bunch around here apparently, but it's one of those things like kids from inner city Massachusetts, they go bowling and they do roller rink. Well, bowling is a very normal thing, but just not for your area. Like right. we went bowling a lot in high school. Yeah, it's well, it's a city thing. It's sure. I mean, I'll take your word for it. We it's just did bowling. Things, like if you don't have room to put up tennis courts, it's a lot right. easier to do like ten lanes of bowling. So I will say, in my area net currently, uh, there's a lot of like alt girls that like roller skate in bas on basketball courts is like kind of a vibe now. But like it, it feels really TikToky where it's like I'm not saying they're taking TikToks, but like they dress up for the occasion too. Like, you go out and you're like, they're dressed up in, like, eight, late 80s gear, and they're like, I'm gonna roll the ring. Yeah, they're they're there to, like, cosplay as people who rollerblade. While rollerblading. Um, so, anyway, that's all to say that Annie... Bone uh, gay has, sore. She's, she's rollerbladed before, but she's never roller skated before. And the place they're going to only has roller skates. Which are like the two rows of two, right? Uh, I actually never knew the difference. Yeah, so roller blades are inline. Roller skates are two and two. Yeah, this is a skate scenario. But they dress up for the occasion. They're like, I'm going to skate through a basketball court. And I'm like, look. Like Barbie? Kinda. And I'm like, look, 20-year-olds are going to skate through my pickup game i'm kind of i'm kind of cool with it um but yes it's picking up 
Huh? You just peg them. No, I'm just like, wow, they're attractively, yeah, like, scantily like clad. I mean, not yet, but maybe after the third date, that's okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, that stuff is a third date thing. <laughs> look, I'm, I'm a, I am. Yeah, no, no, it's good to draw the line somewhere. I am a, I'm a, is. I'm a prude gentleman. What can I say? Um. I don't know. Yeah, I, the late '80s are coming back. People say the '90s are back. No. People keep like making songs from the '80s like very popular on TikTok. But you, it's like you it's kind Running of up that hill. Got like really oh, popular for a minute. That's because it's from um, Stranger Things. Well, yeah, yeah, but it, it also just like fucking topped charts. And now yeah, there's yeah, another yeah. like a uh, fucking. It's something like oh, killing on the dance floor or something. I don't know, some stupid fucking. Well, I mean, there was a time where like Toto's Africa was like a fucking radio hit again. This was like five years ago or so, like just Toto, like randomly. Murder on the dance Toto? floor. Famously, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Famously, John Williams' son. I don't know who what? John Williams is. John Williams is the whoa, director. Whoa, wait, of wait, Pops. wait. Th this is a second. This is a second more important what. <laughs> That's way weirder than him being John Williams' son. How do you not know who he's John Williams is? He's a director of something? John Williams is, uh, he, he wrote the music for Star Wars, Jurassic Park, Harry Potter, uh, Jaws. Oh, I didn't know that. I know the Hans Zimmer. Hans Zimmer's the only, Hans like... Hans Zimmer's the new John Williams. John Williams yeah, but... Harry. Okay, fair enough. Hans Zimmer so, is the only guy of that Hans ilk Zimmer's that I know. The, um, play the one with haste. Just play it with haste. No. No. <laughs> no. Hans Zimmer has done Batman. He's so, he's so Thunder, wrong about that, Your Honor. Inception, Ocean's Eleven. Yeah, I know. I'm familiar with Hans Zimmer's work. So he's the new John. He's the new John. Yeah, yeah same, same vibe. Orchestral music scores. But For some reason. Like all the original stuff. And Star but, Wars is what like made him famous. That makes sense. But Actually, uh, Schindler's List was the first one he won a Grammy for. Oh, well, yeah, but the music guys always win Grammys like 10 years too late. Um, Unless you're Kendrick and you get it 10 years too early. Fair. Um, but I thought, I thought, was Jurassic Park not a Scorsese film? Am I like going crazy? You are crazy. It's a no, it was a Spielberg. It was a Spielberg film. Spielberg. Okay, a wrong Jew. Uh, <laughs> obviously, jokes. Scorsese is uh, Italian, I think. Obviously. If. Um. Scorsese only has uh am I thinking of him or Tarantino? Only has one more movie left. Unsure. Tarantino. I think he, he made this stupid Tarantino. arbitrary decision like, hey, yeah, I'm only ever movies. gonna make ten movies. Right. Scorsese's also a lot older than Tarantino, is he not? Tarantino's on the younger side. Ooh, another land there. I hate is. that. I hate to see Rough. that. I hate it. He has five cards and you have one. How does that make you feel? I'm not a fan. That was picnic like one of my ruiner. first level. I wanted to put a picnic ruiner in here. No, you know the green side is the better side, don't you think? Yeah, I was thinking of going gruel instead of red, instead of just. Mono I like red. that though. I like, I like the, a gruel I like the aggro gruel vibe. The, the gruel deck strike is what, what I'm saying. Put phase. If you added green, make sure I don't like. Oh. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, that's a very good draw. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, please. Uh, what was I just? Oh yeah, I'll give take me this. one play with give fire, me this. Please. Give me just what the doctor ordered, as they say. Dan, you don't have back for blood, do you? Say that one more time. That is a great you don't question. Have the game back for blood. I do not. I know you guys played a lot. I have not. There's been too many games now where like I want to play it with you guys and then I don't, and so I got to draw the line somewhere. Uh, it sounds like fun though. I don't even really know what it is. It's a uh, new Left 4 Dead. Goro, oh, Goro I can... disciple of Ryusei. Mother shout out, fucker. I nice. can get on board with that, Ben. I I did genuinely like, or do genuinely like. Uh, what's the zombie game we? The stupid bad one that we play from uh, like Killing 20 Floor. years ago. Yeah, I do like Killing Floor quite a lot. Is it not in the same vein? It's uh, similar. Left, similar. I would say. Okay. Left 4 Dead feels. The big difference is instead I, of instead of just trying to survive in an area, you just kind of like um. There's like story to it. Like you progress through a map. Like it's a linear map, right, start to finish. 
but like, it's you have to like you know bad you, your way through the map uh do a bunch of like a, um things on the map to get to the next area but it's not persistent right like the story is within the game you're playing and then correct correct yeah, yeah okay no it sounds that sounds pretty good i je i was thinking about this recently i really liked our remnant uh era it's very similar to Remnant, I would say. I You're really like liked like that. I really liked when we played Remnant together. I, I didn't play a ton of it. I think some like Lucas definitely played the most of it and you, you did as well. But like yeah. but like playing through the story of Remnant, I had a really good time. It was like the perfect common it was a perfect combination of like you can kind of do whatever you wanted with the builds. Yeah. As well as like having the progression that felt good. Yeah, it's too bad you never played Elden Ring with us. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I yeah. I don't know. I, Elden Ring might be a step too what far for me. <laughs> I was about to fucking say, dude. I was about to just freak out right there. <laughs> you were about to freak out. <laughs> Elden Ring Online is like uh if one of you dies, like the other ones can carry. So like I played with Mark and Lucas and like so like I never had to kill a boss. Like I but have to experience the game without ever needing to perfect it. Yeah, I don't know if I wanna if if that's what I like about games though. Like the thing I liked about uh Remnant was that like the builds were amorphous enough. Oh, that's a dub. Um, Easy. We were on the play, like, we won I, the game. I could do this like weird build thing and like it's fine because no, nobody was stepping on each other's toes. Well, there is like, a I forget, new like, remnant. No, I know there is. And I was genuinely thinking about getting it, but you guys said... I thought it didn't have great reviews though. Is it good? I loved it. I thought it was great. I thought like, it had great reviews. Yeah. Did it? Did it? Mike and I played I together. It, Mike and I played through I the whole game together. No, I loved it. I thought it was great. Like, okay. The game that I really wanted to like, but ended up being terrible, was Dark Tide. I thought Dark Tide was going to be it for us. Yeah. That game was ass. I feel bad. It was really bad. It was. Really the one I was bad. hoping for was Monster Hunter World, and I oh, didn't even. Yeah, that would have been nice too. I never even played it. Like you guys jumped on it, and we were like, you were like, I hated the first three hours of it, and I was like, wow, really? Yeah, it's that. Bad. And I never, I literally have zero hours in it right now because I bought it and never played it. It's like I would try it again, I guess. It like depending on what quality of life updates have come out since we played it last. No, but you guys like hate like it wasn't a good look. It made the UI did not make sense. The game loop didn't make sense. Like the game mm -hmm. loop is like you you're in town, you get a contract to hunt a thing, you go out and hunt that thing, and then while you're out hunting the thing, you collect other resources to get gear. But it, it from from day one, it's just like okay, figure it out. Mm. It's like it's it's there's too much to do right off the bat. That's not clear what you should be doing. Understood. Uh, and it's also one of those things that, like, like there's no map. Like, once you're out in the wild, like... Oh, it's thing, entirely it's, exploratory or whatever. Yeah, like, it's just exploratory. It's semi-procedural and semi-set. I kind of so, like, like that for single-player games, but for multiplayer games, that kind of sounds awful. Yeah, so, like, if you know the map, then you're like, okay, here's the fastest way to get the thing I'm looking for. I don't need to do, like, the... Batman search for clues, heat vision eyes, everything. Right. Looking for the thing. Right. Um, and we were just like, all right, we'll we'll try and find it. And then like we were just like, all of a sudden facing like a dragon boss. We're like, what the fuck do we do? Mhm. Mm and then you like have, have no idea if like that's yeah. where you should be and for the, the time. And the tutorial's like three hours long. Yeah, you had so, said like, that. You're like, I kind of hated the tutorial. This tutorial yeah. was so bad. It didn't do anything. And like. We were like, okay, can we be in each other's games? We were in each other's servers, and then we couldn't see each other because we weren't completing the tutorial, but we could, like, see each other interacting with the environment. It was very bizarre. Oh, that's strange. Yeah, no, strange. I'm not into that. Games like that, like, multiplayer games that don't let you just pick up and play multiplayer from, like, time zero are very yeah. obnoxious. What else mm. have you bought and tried to get into? Oh, the one Question. I wanted everyone to try that we haven't done is uh, um, what's the what's the the dwarf game? Dwarf. Uh, dwarf fortress? fortress. Not dwarf fortress. Um, it's a mining game. Minecraft. Oh. No, no, no. Uh, I know what you're talking about. It's like the big thing on Reddit right now. It's very popular. Pactorio? No. 
not Foul World. No, no, not that new. Is it uh, not Factorio? It's not Factorio. No, Mark and I played a lot of Factorio. I remember that, yeah. I'm looking through my Steam games right now. I have a lot of uninstalled Steam games. Gotta press it. Oh, Pity 3 was really bad. That could have been a game that we had gotten into. I, I'm like, okay. I'm okay no, no, with Pity 2. Pity 3 two was... recently came out and it's oh. very bad. Okay, yeah, no, no, no. Payday 2 was fun. Yeah. Can I go off for a second on this, Please. like, on a on a tangent? Uh, Deep Rock Galactic is what I was thinking. Oh, yeah. Similar tangent, but, like, so I've been, I've been, like, one of my New Year's resolution, I, my entire New Year's resolution is to just, like, put more time into my hobbies. And so one of them is, like, playing video games. Yeah, exactly. And so I have been, I've been taking a break from Magic, and I've been on the, um... On the single-player deck building games and so I played inscription I'm not familiar. I, I, I it's an indie indie deck builder puzzle game like it's not just a deck builder I, I recommend it if you want to play it very good okay. and then I'm also on split slay the spire Ooh. oh yes Alex has great things to say about that so slay the spire do not do so. not introduce do not introduce Tanner to Slay the Spire. <laughs> yeah, he will. It's just, it's just deck building Binding of Isaac. <laughs> but it's quite fun. And so I've been on that recently. Uh, good games. Inscription, I think I've, I think it's like a 15 hour game for me, maybe 16 hours, okay. which for other people might be like 12 hours. Did you ever play, uh, um, or no, I recommended. Uh, Across the Obelisk? No. Recommended? It's. Alex described it as multiplayer slate fire. Mm. Yeah, I don't know if I'd want a multiplayer version. Like part of the reason why I've been liking these single player It's very builders. cartoony. It like it's very surface level. There's not a lot of depth. No, that's fine. But the reason why I've been enjoying these single player deck builders for like the twenty hours or so I've been playing them is because they're single player, right? It's like you just get to experiment without consequence. Like the consequence is your time. Is it a roguelike though? Yeah. Oh, interesting. Hmm. I'd be willing to like see. Yeah, inscription was really. Fucker, I'll fucking destroy you, dude. <laughs> oh, just fucking sit on it. Just fucking sit on it, you motherfucker. <laughs> ah, bitch. He's him. <laughs> oh god, fucking damn it! That was win six out of seven. Oh, that was as they say fucking on two life 20 fucking damage you motherfucker stop playing <laughs> equipment in your red deck <laughs> go off Luke. he's going off that's, Post this to that's, YouTube. Like fucking, go. that's fucking 20 Post this packs to dude that's 20 packs post this oh. to YouTube <laughs> Post it right now. Hey, unedited. I'll, I'll, I'll post it if, it, if, if I win this one if I win this one I'll post it we'll see this red deck is sick. Uh, God fucking damn. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt the conversation that was happening before. No, no, it's fine. He, God he damn pog it. He pogged. Good thing we're going to draw a two-mana card off the top of our deck. Don't take Godric. Abra with that range is the battlefield. Your opponent's hand is a Don't try to analyze magic cards, uh, Mike. It's they're too big for your tiny Hearthstone brain. <laughs> hey, hey, I, I quit. You know, I, I, I've been Hearthstone sober for like several months. Now. Is that right? You were top uh, twenty in limited for Hearthstone for a while. Yeah, I, I, uh, I you know, funny, funny you mentioned. It. I picked up Slay the Spire. Oh, <laughs> shout out! <laughs> <laughs> that just goes to show that Hearthstone's actually a single player game. Hmm. <laughs> um. I have had I've I it encompassed a weekend for me and now I'm gonna go back in a slightly less obsessive um, capacity but it's it is good fun I will say that it's it's a good game. Mike, did you ever play Hearthstone Battlegrounds? Yes. I, I was a big fan of that for a while and then I feel like it kind of got bad. But it was, it was I thought it was a pretty it was a pretty solid auto battler. For, I like it. I like the better TFT. I never played TFT. 
I couldn't get into it. It's too much to learn. TFT is one of those <laughs> games that, like, if you already know League of Legends, it's mm -hmm. like the barrier entry is very low because you're like, oh, that is this, oh, okay. like that. That item's gonna give me attack damage. That item's gonna give me magic damage. Mm -hmm. And then, but if you don't know, you're just like, what the fuck is that? Or like, you'll see a champion, you'd be like, oh, that's a tank. Or like, oh, that's nice. a DPS. Or like, I know that they're running a healer here. And I just look, I'm like, they, they all look the same. <laughs> what was this game? They're yeah. all big man or a little girl. <laughs> what was this in reference to? Oh, Battlegrounds, right? Uh, I asked no. originally. Battlegrounds is a clone of Teamfight Tactics, which is a League of Legends auto battler. Oh, interesting. So, auto battlers, the genre, were originally a mod for Warcraft 3, which turned into StarCraft 2. Uh, which is like you. This like, is this is the part of video gaming that I don't get. <laughs> yeah. Hey, thank you, Doctor Frost. So they, so they were like had like a carousel of Dr. like units Frost. in <laughs> in uh, StarCraft, and like you'd pick them, and then like they like based on what you picked, you'd randomly get paired up with someone else who would have randomly picked a different. Uh, Oh, oh, interesting. You're, you're, and you're, they would, you're, like, battle each other. You're paired and, like, based on, on and class. And it was just AI. And no, no, it was just like, it was just like, you know, there'd be eight of you in the lobby. It was oh. like super auto pets. And like two of you would get paired off, and like other two would get paired off, and then, you know, and you have so much health. And like when you lose the health, you'd like, you know, lose the thing, and it would keep going. Okay. Back. And then each round you get to pick new units and like modifiers to change your units. Uh, I mean, I, I consider all these things pseudo deck builders anyway. Right. Yes, yes. Like, exactly. Even if they're not decks, right? Yeah. So. Uh, team Fight Tactics is the League of Legends one, so it's all League heroes that you get to pick. Uh -huh. And then you get to buy, like, items and stuff. Um, sure. Super Auto Pets is, like, it's, like, you know, boiled down to its core. Did What's-His-Name like, not really get into TFT, uh, Lucas? Brian? Who's Brian? Oh, Bri Brian. Oh, yeah, no, 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 Gottlieb, yeah. Uh, he's mentioned it a couple times. I thought he, there was a time when he was like really into it. Okay, kids, it's it has sucked a, a particular portion of the mad, uh, the magic um, fa fan base. So it must makes be sense. at least okay. Yeah, yeah. makes sense. Uh, it's just the barrier entry for them is like you need to at a glance understand what everything is. Yeah, like, you can like upgrade your units by combining similar things. Like you know, all the same rules of Super Auto Pets apply. That's kind of my problem with, like, the idea of Slay the Spire multiplayer, which is, like, you're just entirely, in, like, engorged by people that just know the game better than you do. Oh, sorry. Across the Obelisk, it's cooperative multiplayer. So it's you four against... Uh oh like, the... Okay, that's a little bit... I mean, it's a little better. But still, like, you're still completely outmatched by yeah. people that just know the game better than you do. Which is the case for every game, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. a single-player roguelike... <laughs> Well, it, it, I know, but like honestly, a single player, it would, like, like, it would be like trying to join. Oh, I'm gonna go play Counter Strike Two. Like, there's people who have been playing this game for 20 years. That's a and that's you know what? Fucking... That's a good point. That's a good point. And you could still enter that game and have fun without knowing. I like, I, I don't know. I don't think it. I would. Really? I don't think I would have fun playing the new Counter Strike. Well, you're not an FPS guy. That's true too. Don't say that about me. I love FPSs. You're not an uh, FPS guy. I'll say it again. You, you ranked in an FPS. Tell him, Lucas. Call of Duty 2. <laughs> <laughs> Black <laughs> Ops 2. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. Oh, we're fucking, was... we're fucking doing it, fellas. I was, uh, diamond in, um, Black Ops, uh, uh Call of Duty Cold War for a while. Going face with this. We gotta press damage. Can I say something brave and controversial? Go ahead. I just purchased via a delivery app application oh, a, wow. a Detroit style a Detroit style pizza. Ooh. <laughs> Go home, and I will honey. be and I will be, I, I will be putting hot honey upon it. Please. Hot and as honey. as the oracles have decided. You know, what is on it? It is a, a ricotta and uh, meatball, and then I will be putting my own hot honey on it, as Lo-Fi has, has taught me. 
Lo-fi, back in the day, when they when we first started going there, when you get the hot honey side, they put it like in a, like a little like tin. Oh yeah, chicken. they also gave you like way too much of it. Yeah, and then when we, and then by the end, COVID fucking ruined it, and they were like giving it to you like in like uh, like ketchup packets. Mm-hmm. No, no hustle right there. Is what that is. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna... Zero hustle. This Rakdos deck is solid, but I hate Geological Appraiser, though. I try. You hate it as in it's too good, or you hate it because you think it doesn't belong in the deck? I hate it because I think it's bad and it's beating me. <laughs> Which means it's probably better than you give it credit for, yeah, but I understand your point. I understand your point. Yeah. All of the important cards in this deck are like four and five mana. If you're playing the fucking Dracosaur and you're playing the fucking... Uh, so the Dracosaur is is, am, is ambitious for the for the uh, Bloodbraid Elf deck. To be fair, yeah, I would not be playing Dracosaur in it, but I I get it. I think Carnosaur is solid. Carnosaur oh. is good, but I just I don't want to car cascade into it. You can't. I, yeah, but like then Car I want to draw like the the like. I know, but I like desperately want to draw it. Then I don't want to like I don't know. I'm probably you can't cascade here. into it. I know. <laughs> what are you saying then? Because then it just like goes in your graveyard. I don't know. It's uh, like if I'm playing a big mid range deck, it's like I don't really need the the corpse appraiser or whatever. I want that in my aggro mid range deck. Mike, what games have you been playing these days? Uh I've been, I've been kind of looking for something else because I just finished up and Slay the Spire. Mm. I didn't know you could finish it. I thought it was like a. I thought no, it was he, more of like no, a. He's, he's achieved perfect Slay the Spire hood. I mean. I, I mean he's yeah, a lot. I mean, so, is he, have you played the game before? Me? I. Ben has not. Dan has. So, so I remember one person was talking about it. I was playing it. Oh, okay. I've, I have like maybe 10 hours in it. I guess I could check. Uh, you might have been talking to Alex. Alex, who we play Overwatch with, also known as Poop Sock. <laughs> Shout Sock out. Or Silk. Silk. Silk, Silk is the bell. name I know. Silk rings a bell. Okay. Poop Sock is his, uh, his smurf. Uh, anyway. He, he has like 100 hours in Slay the Spire. Why wouldn't you cast that? I guess I guess this is this doesn't work. But I mean, essentially, the, the game has a bunch of different <clears throat> it has a bunch of different difficulties. Fuck, dude! And God damn it! Ah, uh, six wins, one probably. fucking loss. <sighs> Sad. I'm sorry, I, I interrupted you. Oh, did he two owe you? Yeah, he two owed me. I I yeah. do think that the Rakdos deck has a good matchup against us, but very yeah, few sure. other decks have one you know that are currently floating around what percent of the meta is rakdos um I can actually it's the, it's, the, it's the it's the second most popular deck it's like 10 percent, 12 percent but the like the thing is uh that rakdos is split between three different versions of rakdos and i think mm -hmm. only the middling version is the best one against us the lower curve one is bad against us, and the higher curve one we can try and get under. Uh, and the middling one, agree. the middling one is really bad against domain. Which is the number one car, uh, deck in the meta? Yes, yeah, that's the number one. You're one hundred percent right, Lucas. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. And I, I think red, I, I think red's well positioned, and I think I've proven it by getting six wins in a row. <laughs> Are you running Phoenix Shake or no? Do you have no, zero no. Phoenix Shirt? Phoenix Shirt sucks wow. so much dick. It's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. But it's I do like it in a moderate. Okay. I tried. I, so, like I like it better than you do, but okay. The list, I, the I, list mean, I copied had three Phoenix Chicks and only three, only three Godricks. So I cut the three Phoenix Chicks, added Godric, added it Furnace Reigns, and added um something else. I don't remember. He's so brave. <laughs> Thank you. Inti sucks, though. You're 100% right about that. No haste. Not good. It did save one game for us, but... One more Bloodthirsty Adversary is probably better. <laughs>